Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you three possible ways to fix this crop error in Windows or Ubuntu Dual Boot during startup. It says, error, no such partition, entry in rescue mode, grub rescue. The primary reason for this error is that your grub bootloader configuration has been tampered with, either corrupted, misconfigured, or deleted. More specifically, you might have forcefully deleted your Ubuntu or some other Linux system files from a dual boot PC, or you extended certain disk partition into the partition with your grub bootloader. And as you know, the grub bootloader provides you the choice to boot one of multiple operating systems installed on your computer, hence corrupting the bootloader prevents you from accessing any of the installed operating system, even if such operating system is still functional. It's like misplacing the key to your gate, so even though you have the key to your room, you can't access it because you can't get through the gate. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you different ways to fix this problem. But before we proceed, if you are yet to subscribe, take a second and hit the subscribe button so as to keep up with future tech support videos like this one. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first method would require locating the partition with your Windows installation or whatever operating system you want to restore as your primary boot OS. To do that while on this screen with the error message, type the command ls and hit enter. This will display all partitions you currently have on your disk. Now in my case I have just two partitions, yours might be more, but in any case you will need to check and see which of these listed partitions has your operating system installed on it. So to check if it's in the ms-dos1 partition, I will type in the command ls space open bracket hd0 comma ms dos one close bracket and hit enter now if you get a note like this saying file system is unknown then it's not the partition you are looking for in which case you should run a similar command for the other partitions you have displayed from your ls command so here i will check my ms dos two partition by typing ls space open bracket hd0 comma ms dos two close bracket and hit enter now, as you can see also here, it says the file system is unknown. I will explain why mine is like that in a moment and also how to resolve it. But if you do get a message saying something like file system is ext2 or ext3 or something like that from any of your partitions, then that is the partition you are looking for. This ext file is the extended file system for your Linux kernel. So that is the partition with your operating system, in which case you should fast forward to this time in the video and continue with the instructions. Remember to replace the partition with the partition where you find your operating system in. And so in the command where it says ms-dos5, replace that with the partition where you found your operating system. This is important. Now, if your case is like mine and you don't find any partition with your operating system, then that is because the partition with your Ubuntu system files has been completely deleted. Or if you want forcefully deleted. I will show you how to confirm that in a moment. But first, here is a quick note. To avoid getting such error in future, if you are running a dual boot PC and wish to switch back to a single boot or delete your Ubuntu and revert back to running only Windows. Here is a video I made showing step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that properly and avoid such errors. I will leave the link down in the video description. Now back to the error, here is how to verify that the partition with my Ubuntu has been deleted. Now type in the command set set and hit enter. Now it shows me that there is another hidden partition labeled ms-dos5 which is where I have my operating system. Now type the command set space boot equal open bracket hd0 ms dos 5 close bracket and hit enter then type set space prefix equals open bracket hd0 ms dos 5 close bracket forward slash boot forward slash grub and hit enter as shown on the screen then type ins mode space normal as shown on the screen and hit enter now type normal and hit enter to complete the process now depending on what could have caused the problem in your case that should resolve the issue and boot you back to your operating systems however if this doesn't work for you then you should proceed with the second suggestion for this solution, we'll be using the bootrec tool to try to locate any Windows installations on all disks attached to the computer and then add them back to the boot list so that the boot manager can locate them during startup. Now to do this, you will need a bootable USB with Windows 10 installation files. If you haven't made one already, you can follow the procedures I showed in this video to do that. I will leave the link in the video description.
Now attach your Windows 10 USB stick and press the power button on your computer to start the process. And then using the corresponding function keys or combination of escape and function key, select your boot device to boot from the USB. On this initial setup page, select Windows 10 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your platform and then wait for the installation files to load. Here on this page, select Next. Then click on repair your computer. Here select troubleshoot. And then here click on the command prompt option. Here type the command boot rec space forward slash fix MBR as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now it should say the operation completed successfully. Now type the command boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. It should again say the operation completed successfully. Then type boot rec space forward slash scanos as shown on the screen and hit enter. Obviously, this command scans all your disks to see if there are Windows installations on any of them. Now, this could take some time depending on your system specifications and the size and number of disks to scan. So, you might have to wait a bit. After scanning, it will inform you whether or not any Windows installations were found on the disks. In my case, the process was able to find one Windows installation, so I will go ahead and add it back to the boot list so that the boot manager can locate it during startup. To do that, type the command boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then wait for the process to run. After that, it should tell you again that it has identified your Windows installation. It then asks whether you want to add it to your boot list. Now, if you have multiple Windows installations, it would give you all the available installations and the corresponding drives where they are stored. So at this point, if you want to add all the installations to the boot list, then type A and hit enter to complete the process. Of course, A would also work if you have only a single Windows installation like in my case. Now, after that, type exit to close the terminal and then restart your computer to see if it works. The third approach would be to use the registry backup command called regback. What this command does is to replace your registry configuration with the last known good configuration you have on your PC. So basically changing your registry configuration to the configuration of your most recent successful boot up. To do that, you will need to go back to this advanced options screen. And on this page, click on the command prompt option. Now you should open up this command prompt terminal. Here type in the letter of the disk drive where you install your operating system, usually it's the C drive. In some cases it could be a different drive like D if you have configured it so. So here I will type in the letter C and then a colon and hit enter. Now type in DIR and hit enter. Here if you find the folders program files and program files x86 together with other folders like users and windows then you are in the right drive otherwise type in another letter like d and then colon and hit enter 
then dir so as you can see here are the directories i was expecting to see so i'm now in the right drive now before running the reg back command i will back up the current registry in case i have some need to restore it afterwards for that i will type in the command cd space backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and hit enter then type md space backup as shown on the screen and hit enter now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space backup and hit enter then wait a bit for the files to be copied after that type in cd space reg back and hit enter then type dir once again and hit enter here you should have a bunch of items with some six to seven or even nine digit numbers next to them now here is an important warning if you do not see the kind of numbers i just described or if you have zeros like i do in this case then just exit this fix for this solution to be feasible and to avoid further complications to your computer, please check that you have the kind of numbers I mentioned here. Otherwise, just type exit and hit enter. If you have valid numbers here, then go ahead and type the command copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and hit enter. Then type the letter A and hit enter to override all. Finally, type exit and hit enter to complete the process. It should then take you back to this page where you can now choose to continue to start up your computer. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.